Now that was a crossover. What's up? What's happening? What's going on? Everybody? Welcome back to Unity Music Station. No more such a great thing. Anything animation. Welcome to my review of the real, the actual TMNT crossover with Transdimensional Turtles. Top five best of that 2012 show easily. This is a phenomenal, fantastic episode that I have little to nothing negative to say about. They were able to get not only the 87 Turtles back, but they also got Pat Fraley back to voice Krang. They have a bunch of referential humor that actually works. Both of the Turtle teams work well together. The 87 Turtles are respected and not just treated like morons, which um, is appreciated. It's fun. It has a ton of rewatchability. It's just a blast to watch, man. Like, if you're a fan of either of these Turtles teams, you need to watch this episode. And yes, I know you're saying, oh, well, it's an episode of TMNT 2012, a series you already reviewed. Why are you giving it some separate review? Because it freaking deserves it, let me tell you. And also because I want to show you the actual crossover of TMNT that you should be watching instead of that freaking waste of painfully average crap. So, without further ado, let's dive right in, shall we? So, on the 2012 side of things, we have Seth Green, Sean Ashton, Greg Sipes, Rob Paulson, and Hoon Lee all back to voice their respective characters. You know, Leo, Raph, Mikey, Donnie, and Splinter, respectively. But then we also have the Turtles of the 87 show, voiced by their original actors this time. Cam Clark as Leonardo, Townsend, Townsend Coleman as Michelangelo, Barry Gordon as Donatello, and Pat Fraley as I already said, it's Krang, and of course, Rob Paulson as Raphael. And yes, they make a joke with Rob Paulson, Rob Paulson voicing two turtles on one on each side. Like, it's so good! And then the writing here from Brandon Allman and Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird is fantastic. Just, oh, we, get, we gotta go straight into the... Do they have a synopsis? Oh, they don't have an... Oh, that's a bummer. Ah, uh, that, that's a huge power. I was hoping for that. I'll just read off the storyline then. In the most Calabunga crossover ever, the 2012 and 1987 Turtles team up to stop the Krang from tinkering with dimensions. Yeah, and then we get to see the, the TMNT 2012 Turtles in 2D animation, which is awesome. And then we get to see the 87 Turtles and Krang in 3D animation. And while Krang in 3D looks a bit weird... The turtles look great, even with their big, doofy eyes. Like, their eyes are ridiculously big and doofy. But aside from that, the animation is stellar, and all the jokes throughout are great. Like, I love the joke where um, Raphael throws a pizza, 87 Raph, throws a pizza into a Krangbot's face. Very reminiscent of that old intro from the 87 series, and then he goes even further... When uh, 2012 Raph is just like, where'd you get a pizza? <laughs> and then 87 Raph, using that exact line from that original intro, is just like, give me a break. And then we have the two Leos arguing over the phrase turtle power, which is hilarious. I especially love how it uh, plays out in the ending where 87 Leo catches himself after 2012 Leo looks at him and you get one of those anime expressions with his eyes being literal flames. <laughs> like, this is just an episode that makes me happy that it exists. Like, this is one that all Turtles fans do need to see. And yes, I know there's technically a sequel in the three-parter Bebop and Wanted Bebop and Rocksteady, but it's not nearly as good. That one's about a 7 out of 10. This one is fantastic, though. And I have little nothing to negative to say about it. So, here's my written review. I'm sorry I can't do a more in-depth video, but it's a 22-minute episode. I can only do so much. So, here's my written review. So, the pros of this episode. The many, many pros. Stellar 2D and 3D animation. Excellent writing. Loads of funny jokes. A ton of great references to both shows. Phenomenal voice casting from both the 20... Voice casting... Voice performances from both the 2012 and 1987 casts, a great story, a fast pace, actual respect for the 87 Turtles that automatically makes it a million times better than Turtles Forever, a great runtime of only 22 minutes, yeah, and not only was 
that is far superior to Turtles Forever in every single way. It was far shorter than Turtles Forever in every single way. So, yeah, that makes it even more sad about how that piece of crap turned out. A great runtime of only 22 minutes and insanely high rewatchability. Its only missteps are the sad absence of 87 Shredder for understandable reasons because this was made after James Avery's passing. May he rest in peace. And the 2D animation, while excellent, being a tad stiff. Like, I love the stylization of this 2D animation they used for the episode, but it is very stiff. Overall, this is leagues better than Turtles Forever, and easily among my top top, uh, top five best episodes of Team NT 2012. A ton of fun to watch for fans of both teams, and so well done despite not being a two-parter or a TV movie. Super highly recommended, a must-watch for any Turtles fan. That sums up literally every single thought I have on this movie. But, sorry, not movie. Special episode. Special anniversary episode. Top five best of the 2012 show easily, and just an incredible episode, period. My final verdict for trans-dimensional turtles is going to be the highest nine out of ten that I can give it. And if you, for some reason, have not seen this yet, you need to. Go watch it now. Whether you're a fan of the 2012 turtles, the 87 turtles, both, neither, whatever. If you're a turtles fan at all, you need to watch this. It is a must-see for all Turtles fans. And that's it. And that's the last Turtles review we have for the day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back here later today to talk about something not Turtles related. Because there are a few reviews I do need to get done today that aren't Ninja Turtle related. But don't worry. We'll have some uh, Turtles content coming very soon. So stay tuned for that. But until then, thanks for watching. I'm Jad Small of Animation Station, and I'll see you guys next time for my review of Haunted Mansion. Cowabunga, dudes!